Hey everyone, this is Ryan, health fitness professional with the Cardinal Health Site in Mansfield, Massachusetts. Today's core work is going to be very similar to what we would normally do for our core with our cube fit sessions. However, instead of those 10 minute or even 15 minute sessions, I'm actually going to do it in just about four and a half to five minutes. With that said, all the equipment you're going to need today is your desk, or in my case, the dresser, and your chair, or in my case, the stool. So make sure you have plenty of water close by. If you'd like, you can give yourself an extra minute to warm up the body, and we'll get started with our first exercise. First off, we'll start with rotational twists. Place your hands behind your head and bring the elbows to the opposite knee as you lift the knee up to about hip height. Notice that I'm not just twisting my torso side to side, I'm also bringing my elbow down to about hip height so that the elbow will meet the knee. By doing this, I am rounding my upper back, which is going to help contract the obliques of my core better. As we come to the half point for the time we have for this exercise, I'm going to add an optional squat, uh, alternating that with the rotational twists. Uh, for those of you at home or in the office, feel free to do the same. The squat is going to help fire up the glutes, which we are going to use quite a bit for the remainder of this session. Finishing up in three, two, one, hands down, and we'll move on to our first desk exercise. Next up, we'll be doing a plank on the desk, and we're going to alternate a knee tuck as well as a leg raise with the same leg for about 20 seconds. For this time, it's very important that you keep both the core and your glutes on both sides nice and tight as you move the leg in, bringing the knee up as close to your chest as you can, and as you straighten out your leg, you're going to squeeze the glutes even more as you raise the leg up behind you. As we come to the half point of this time, we're going to switch legs, and to make this a little bit more challenging, I'm going to lower my torso a bit closer to my desk. Feel free to do the same if you like. However, lowering yourself down to your desk is optional at this time. Finishing up in three, two, one. Stand up, shake the hands out, and we're gonna move on to our next plank exercise. This one I like to call a rotate and reach. Make sure your glutes and your core are tight. You want to emphasize the squeeze in the core as you twist to the side, rotating your shoulders and hips. We're also going to use our back during this time. So as you reach, keeping your eyes on your hands, I want you to give it a second as you squeeze the shoulder blades together, contracting the muscles in your back. This exercise does require some balance and coordination. Right now, I do have my feet together. However, if I were having trouble with my balance or coordination, I would simply spread my feet out a little bit wider, probably no more than shoulder width apart. Remember to keep your glutes and core nice and tight. Make sure you're not shrugging at the shoulders. As we finish up here, we're gonna take a break from our planks and we're gonna move on to our first and only chair or stool exercise. This one I'd like to call seated leg raise. While you can do this at a chair, I would prefer a stool as it gives me a little bit more room to lean back for this exercise. Regardless of whether you're using a chair or stool, the main idea for this one is to lift your knees up as high as you can. And as you lower your knees down, I want you to straighten out your legs as much as possible. Right now you can see that I am holding on to the bottom of the stool. However, to make this a little bit more challenging, at the second half of the exercise, I'm gonna take my hands off the stool, keep my hands in front of my chest. You may also notice that I'm not as comfortable leaning back anymore. However, that's fine. The intensity is still there. This way I'm rounding my back for this crunch-like position, which is going to help engage the core a little bit more during this exercise. Finishing up in three, two, one, stand up from your chair and we'll move on to our last plank exercise. Lastly, I wanna do a push up on the desk. Yes, this is still working the core. We will be activating the chest a little bit more as well. As I've said in the last two plank exercises, make sure that your glutes and your core are both engaged during this time. As for the upper body, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are down, avoiding shrug at all costs, and bringing the shoulders a little bit back. I find the best way to do that is squeeze your shoulder blades together. The most important thing about the push-up and all other plank exercises is form, so make sure that you have a nice neutral spine. 
Again, best way to do that is keep the core and glutes contracted at the same time. Remember, this is not about pacing yourself to go fast. It's all about form. So make sure that you're contracting at the right places so that you can avoid those common mistakes. Finishing up our last exercise in three, two, one. Stand up from your desk and that concludes the end of this session. So that is it for today's session. Thank you all for joining me. Now that we've moved on into phase one for this month of September, I've decided to do something very similar to CubeFit so that people can get used to doing these exercises, whether you're working at your desk from home or you're working at your desk from the office. Next week is gonna be a bit similar where you can do things from your desk or chair at home or again in the office. And then after that, we're gonna kick it back up to some exercises you may wanna do on the floor or perhaps on the gym floor back at our fitness center at Cardinal Health. But as always, thank you all for watching yet again. And if you want to try out more videos like this for our core playlist or any of our other playlists, you can always check those out on our YouTube page. Don't forget, we are still providing other services for you at our Cardinal Health website. Again, whether you're working from home or at the office, everything's still available for you online. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next workout.